Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI. And this is a 26-year-old female. She's a world-class athlete, may want to go to the Olympics, and she's a long-distance runner. And she's been having pelvic pain, history of pelvic fracture even from overuse. And she comes in with continued pelvic pain, similar to in the past. She's had to dial back her running to only 10 miles a day. And here we have her pelvis. This is a coronal view. We can see her left hip joint looks good. Right hip joint looks good. We see her uterus here. Her uterus did have some fluid in the uterine cavity, and her arrow is pointing to an area we call adenomyosis, but that's for another video. We see her sacrum up here. There's no sacral stress fracture. Sacrum is in the middle. This is her left SI joint, right SI joint. They look normal in other views. But as we go forward through the pelvis, we're going to get to the finding right down here where we're worried about. She's having deep pelvic pain in the region of the pubic bones, have arrows on, areas of marrow edema. So this is very bright, light bulb bright, in fact. Um, and this is an area where the pubic bone, the medial left pubic bone and the medial right pubic bone, where they come together at the symphysis pubis, there are abnormal uh, for, uh, shearing forces and abnormal mechanics of stress, and they can cause irritation of the bone. She has a little bone erosion right here. She has spurring. And again, that really prominent marrow edema on both sides. And this is what we call osteitis pubis. And other, pay, uh, other uh, athletes can get this as well. Soccer players, people who have cutting uh, forces with uh, lots of mechanical stress on the symphysis pubis can get it. And less uh, um, common is uh, long distance runners, but they're known to get this as well. Now on this view, this has got a T1 view. Marrow should be bright. So the marrow looked pretty good through here. Here it's dark. So this is the medial right pubic bone. It's also dark on this side here towards the back. When we go to the front, it looks normal, but just along the back, it's dark. So this may be where she's had a prior stress fracture. You can get reactive bone deposition, reactive bone sclerosis to heal, and that can cause a cortical uh, signal within the marrow space here. So this is just low signal, maybe related to her prior uh, stress fracture. But we call this, again, osteitis pubis in this world-class athlete. And thank you very much.